Hello everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn clay trimmings back into clay. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. So yesterday I threw some items on the potter wheel. I threw a spoon rest and a cylinder and a lid for a jar. So I'm going to trim those right now and then I'll show you how to reclaim those clay trimmings. So right now I have a bowl on the Griffin grip. I'm going to trim the bowl first. All right, so I have uh, some clay trimmings here in my little bowl. So they're really thin, about a little hard. You can also do this when they are bone dry as well. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cover it with water. So I don't want to pour too much water. I want it to be just enough to dissolve the clay. So I think that's good. So about that much. So now I just have to let it sit for a couple of hours until the clay has dissolved. All right, so it has been about two hours or so. And as you can see, the clay has dissolved quite a bit and it's very soft and I can mush it with my finger. So what are we going to do next is I have my immersion blender here from Walmart. So I'm going to blend this slip into really smooth slip. So I just finished blending. It's very nice and smooth. No more chunky clay here. But then at the same time, I realized I put too much water. So now it's too watery. What I'm looking for is a really thicker um, slip consistency. So what I could do next is add more clay to thicken this up or let it sit out for a few days so that the water evaporates. So I think what I'll do is I'll add some more clay. So after adding some more clay trimmings and blending it, this is a lot thicker now, so it's not watery. Um, ideally, I would like it even more thick, uh, but this would do. So next, what I'll do is I'll pour this on my plaster bat. So right here is my plaster bat that I got from the pottery store. You can also make your own plaster bat. So in order to dry this liquid clay out into solid clay, I'm just going to pour this on the bat, just like that. And it's going to flatten it a little bit more into a thin layer so that it will dry out faster. So it's okay if you see the little lumps here, it's okay. So yeah, I'm just going to let this dry out for a couple of hours until it can lift off. Then we can wedge it into a clay. All right, so this um, clay slip has already been sitting on the plaster bat for a couple of hours and looks ready because um, if you can see it's not shiny anymore it's very matte and when I touch it it doesn't stick to my hand so right now I think I'm going to use a rip to help me take this out so I can easily just scrape it out like that So I'm using a rubber rip to scrape it out because the plaster bat 
can get scratches so I can't use a knife or anything sharp on the plaster bed and sometimes when I leave the reclaim on the plaster bed overnight and it becomes too dry then I will need to rehydrate and start the process again so it's very important to check your reclaim to make sure that it is at the right consistency all right so i've got all the clay looks pretty good so this is my clay now looks pretty good so let's go to the wedging board and watch this clay actually i changed my mind instead of the wedging board i'm going to wedge it on the plaster bed because i have other projects sitting on my wedging board so it's okay to wedge here so i'm just going to wedge here to get all the air bubble out so remember when i was pouring the slip there were some clay bits in the clay so right now i'm wedging i couldn't feel any clay bits it's very smooth clay very nice and smooth so i'm just trying to get all the air bubble out so normally I would have uh, a lot more clay, but since um, I'm only doing a very little amount this time, I'm only wedging with one hand. So after you finish wedging, you can use this clay for hand building or throwing. So it's pretty good now, the consistency. Okay, so that's my ball of clay. I can use it again. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.